Uh, Jarvis is sitting here taking a nap at the gas pump. He's asked, yes, asked me to employ him at a, at a deeper regard other than just memeing on him, making memes with him and crashing him around. He said, Team as a leap, idiot. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, well, he's a little spicy right now. He asked me for a more employable opportunity, so I asked him, what would that look like for you? And he said he wanted to show off some of his driving skill. I don't doubt that we'll still see some crashing along the way. Welcome to Crash Course Corner, episode number one, featuring none other than Jarvis himself. Fuek Joshua Q. Yeah. And Joshua Q as the host of the show. What the hell? Idiot. E. Oh. Mobs is I am a pro. Welcome to Peshro. Thank you, Jarvis. Welcome to episode number one of Crash Course Corner. We're going to be putting Jarvis through a series of tests here. Three, count them three. And we have plenty of vehicles for him to do this with in the future. So we're going to start developing a leaderboard of the fastest cars. Um, has nothing to do with Jarvis. He's a crash test dummy. So we'll really be able to start getting a caliber of kind of the speed of these vehicles and maybe influence uh, some of your vehicle buying decisions moving forward. Anyway, without further ado, let me show you the courses that we'll be running. So this is uh, course number one. We're calling this one Sprint Bumps. We're going to start right about here, right where that little marker's at, running across these bumps in and around this barrier, across these larger ones in and around that line. In and around here over this, these bigger, quite large ones actually, probably some comedic stuff going to be happening there and then boom across this final jump at an angle and then the course ends right here at this line then we've got the slalom stairs starts right here at this iceberg kind of looking piece of concrete going to slalom through these boxes wrapping it around and then coming all the way to these steps and running this kind of labyrinth of stairs up over, kind of up again, and then we start going down, down through, in and around here, and then the course ends as soon as the rear tires touch the ground off of this final step. And then test number three is gonna be a J-turn test, so it'll be actually run in reverse, so you'll start in reverse in the vehicle, going across these bumps, 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 and then before that skinny one right there, this skinny one that's going horizontal. So starting anywhere in here, the vehicle has to be J-turned around and driven through this gap. Curbs are not that big of a deal for trucks. That's what we're gonna run into today. But when you're trying to throw a vehicle sideways, it does kind of pose a problem. So without further ado, let's let the star of the show, Jarvis, take it on. Here we go. Drift King. Mm. 
Mein Eck ist red. American Peace of Shit. I don't finish. I win. Jarvis, what is this that you're on about? Bring that truck to test track number two. Come on, enough wasting my gas. Easy now. Oh, here we go. Great. Oh! Now that was a hard, hard wreck. Go ahead and check in with Jarvis. How we doing, buddy? Sleep. Well, at least he's feeling optimistic. We'll get this cleaned up, get y'all over to test track two. Attach the Daisy. Planet Fitness Core. Do you want to do the step stepper back? American piece of JTF. Fucking be neither. Thanks to Jarvis running those test runs, he ran a 101.48 on the sprint bumps. I anticipate in future episodes that time getting quicker with other vehicles just due to the fact that he probably lost a second to two and a half seconds when he messed up around that turn. So much for being a drift king, Jarvis. We've got a 112.44 on the slalom stairs. To be fair, Jarvis did pretty good. That truck there, though it was a four-wheel drive model, was in two-wheel drive the entire time. However, the curb J turn was a. So I look forward to that getting better in future episodes. But until episode two, until more content's released from me, hope you guys are doing great. Stay safe and stay tuned.